Kirk Kinnaman. Hey, Kirk. Uh, friend of the show. Um, mentioned that, quote, someone in the Kilt and Culture group a while ago asked about going to a funeral kilted. And I was wondering, you know, it, he thought it'd be interesting to learn more about this as a custom. He says, since we're ingrained to wear dark and somber colors at funerals, how does that work with Highland wear, especially when you have all these uh, loud, bright tartans? Or are we all supposed to keep like a mourning tartan in our wardrobe just for that occasion? Is that, how do you, how do you parse sure. loud and proud with a funeral? Um, I've been to, uh, unfortunately, I've been to a few funerals in my day. Mm -hmm. um, for the majority, uh, I was not kilted. Um, for my father's funeral, for instance, um, I did not wear a kilt. You know, we've had, I had a lot of people ask me, well, you know, why aren't you wearing a kilt? You know, oh, you own the kilt shop, you should be wearing And it's like, no, my dad didn't wear a kilt. He didn't, mm -hmm. you know. He loved me. He loved that I owned a company, but it, kilts weren't his thing. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it more, you know, suit and tie kind of thing to, as honoring him. Um, so my my general rule, personal general rule of thumb, if the person knew you as a kilt wearer or they were a kilt wearer and you're wearing it to honor them, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. the the funeral after all is it is a celebration of their life and it is for the living it is not for them it's for their family it's for their friends it's for their community that they built during their life mm -hmm. so if they were in a pipe band let's say they're a piper in a pipe band yes i would absolutely wear a kilt if they were you know my my friend that i knew since i was you know two years old who you know died a few years ago i wouldn't wear a kilt because she didn't wear kilts. I was just friends with her. So it would be, in my mind, it's kind of, it's pulling attention from the deceased, from the reason that I'm there. But if it's being worn to honor the person that's there, it's a different ball game in my mind. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna differ slightly. Um, I think that, I think that you know, it's, uh, we, we, we comment on this a little bit, that uh, a funeral is not exactly the same paradigm as a wedding where you could basically ask the bride, hey, is it okay if I wear a kilt to the wedding? Um, we often recommend that. A funeral, that's a little more awkward. Um, <laughs> however... That's horribly awkward. However, um, I do think that for a lot of people, um, a kilt equates to your Sunday best. It is your suit. It is your best outfit. And I actually did have... Tom, if you could bring up the image, uh, Scottish funeral, please. Um... A lot of time, as in the U.S., you'll find people just wearing regular suits for a funeral. Um, but, hey, this guy, he's a, he's a pallbearer. See, he, he's younger, so I'm guessing he's related to whoever the deceased was. He's wearing a kilt. That is how he chose to honor him. And so he's doing the he's doing the, the, the Sunday best, uh, showing that I care by wearing my best outfit kind of thing. Yeah. Um, you can take it down, Tom. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's gauge your audience. Um, the basic rule of thumb for me is that you're going, if you're going to wear a kilt, make sure the rest of your outfit is appropriately simple. Um, don't put on the dog. Don't wear a Prince Charlie. Yeah. You know, don't no wear a red doublet. Yeah. Yeah. No dress sporn. You know, or any of that. Um, yeah, maybe you only have one sporn, but yeah. But uh, keep it kind of like day wear. Keep it simple. Simpler is better. Yeah. Yep. But the point is, um, I feel like as long as you are close enough to the family that they get you then wearing the kilt if it's especially if it's a clan kilt if it's a tartan kilt that's your clan that's putting on your best and that's showing your that's showing honor um through your clothes so i personally don't have a problem with it i think it's it's, it's a way of showing honor yeah so, so you know, i don't disagree but uh but yeah i mean if they're all you know a, a very humble church going family down in mississippi and if you show up in a kilt they're gonna get <clears throat> weirded out yeah maybe it, maybe not it depends if it's your wife's you know, second cousin that you never met, but you're there to support your wife, and you've never really you know, interacted with the family, then mm, no, forego it. And we're also in the mm -hmm. U.S. It is still, you know, as much as we love to wear them every single day, it is still not the norm in the U.S. We are mm -hmm. still outliers as mm -hmm. much as we pretend not to be. Mm -hmm. um, so in Scotland, meh, it's done, you know, ish. In yep. the U.S., it's done less unless the person is either very close to you or they're known to wear kilts, appreciate kilts, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll say, um, as far as to the second part of the question about having a special tartan, no. 
Um, if it's basically usually again, it's going to be your clan tartan, assuming you have one. Um, the uh, we we looked into it a little bit to were there special tartans for morning and Tommy could call it the Stuart morning tartan image, please. M O U R N morning, morning tartan, yep. not morning as in time of day. Um, here's a thing which sort of exists. It exists, but we don't know why. But not really. It is in the it is in the register. In, in, in the Scottish government, it is officially registered. Um, that is the Stuart Dress Morning Tartan. And it originally only, it, it supposedly dates to 1880 and was included in a very mysterious tome known as the Clans Original, which as best as anybody knows, Tom, you can remember the image now, I think, um, is basically a swatch book, uh, which wound up in a tailor's in Paris and the only known copy of it now is in the possession of Pendleton uh, Weaving Company in Portland, Oregon. Pendleton Woolen Mills right. in Oregon, yes. Um, so the veracity of that, the uh, provenance of that as being a real tartan is questionable. Um, have we ever asked, had anybody ask for it or want it? No. I dig it. I'd wear it. I think yeah. it's kind of cool looking. It's black and white. It's on trend yeah, for right you, now. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. always on trend for me. Yep. But the um, but there there really isn't a tradition of so-called mourning tartans. You just you wore your clan colors. It's about funerals are about family. Clan is family. You represent the family. So that's it. Indeed. But there is no such thing as having to have a special kilt for yep. funerals. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember, if you dig the kind of content that we're putting out give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notifications every single time we come out with a new video.